quite a jump. Oh my god! Oh, that is cool! Lunging jumps! Over their wall we are! What is up everybody, my name is Commander, and welcome back to another episode of Art Survival Evolved. You might be wondering, what the heck are we doing on the island? Aberration is out, right? Well, I like to use the island as a testing zone, and so we're going to do that in this video, and I'm going to show you something really cool. Uh, we're going to go ahead and tame a spider crab. I'm going to show you the uh, spider crab. That's not the right word, is it? I like calling them spider crabs. They're spider crabs. We're going to tame the giant crab, and... I'm going to show you the best way to trap it and how to knock this guy out because he knocks out just like a golem does. And then we're going to tame this guy up and we're going to see exactly what all he can do. So stick around and we'll get this all going. Alright guys, we are back in our natural habitat here uh, on the island. Or the crab is back in its natural habitat, I should say. Here on the island with the water, not the aberration map, right? Now, a natural habitat for them is aberration, but you know, it's pretty cool just to see the giant crab here on the uh, island map and I think it fits right along inside with the group but now we've got another problem he doesn't belong here and he is the only one of his kind and we must tame him so how will we do that well let's first see if he takes damage from regular attacks alright so poison definitely a good way to go All right, so our first answer to this whole question is can you hurt the crab on the island? Yes, you can. All right, so arrows do something to him. And darts do something to him. But neither have caused any corpor or anything, right? All right, guys, so we have spawned a pistol in. We're going to see, because I am pretty sure this guy sparks when I shoot him. Yes, he does. Regular bullets. Oh, my God. That's a trick and a half there. That's something right there. So, a bullet bounces off. But yet, your arrow does not. And what's also funny is rather than that bullet, you'd be better off with that. Let's see if I can spawn in a trank dart real quick. Alright guys, so we have spawned in one rifle round. Let's see how much damage a single rifle round will do. Loading a new round. So that does 50 damage. Ooh, there's a Dillo. Alright. So 70 damage. Uh, 196 to the feet. Just to prove it. 588 to a headshot. So 196 to the feet and 70 damage from the pistol. We'll have to do some math, but... Uh, come here, Mr. Crab. Mr. Spider Crab. How much damage reduction do you get from our rifle round? So 28. So, kids, I'm already deciding one thing right now. I keep a bow on you. And ten. So, it took one-seventh the damage from this pistol. Twenty-eight from a hundred and... Alright guys, so we've got this guy tamed up now. Uh, he's taken some abuse from us, so let's see what his health looks like right now. He's still abused pretty bad. Let's see if he's taking arrow damage the same. Um, you heal moderately quick. Uh, you're at 840. Okay, so he still takes arrow damage just the same. Alright, let's pull out the rifle again. And one more check on his stats. Can we ride him? 
Oh, cool. We can stand on top much better. Much better. At 800, right? Close enough. Still damage resistant. Now, the next question is, is how much XP or how much health can this guy build up? Now, if you remember from my last video, if you haven't watched it, you should. The tankiest dinos in Ark. Uh, we went through and took all the numbers and crunched it all together to see exactly how many bullets a dino could take. I think we used a rough estimate. I'm not sure. Uh, because saddles and everything, bullets weren't going to do as much damage. So we, we broke it down think, and broke it down to like, I forget, what did we do? I'll have to look at it here in a minute. But basically, I went and broke down the numbers on exactly how much damage a turret does or very close to what it normally does to an unsaddled dino and then we determined how many bullets and how much damage could the dino receive without dying um, or how many bullets could it, could it soak up to the last bullet and out of all the dinos the rock golem was the one that won the won the day and what it did it one tenth the damage all right guys so we have tamed both a rock golem and a crab now. And the rock golem here, let's see his tankiness and health right off the bat. 3,000. Kind of what I expected from him. But now, we're going to test out really quickly. How much damage can he soak? Uh, we have our rifle. Let's see how much damage this rifle does. Right, he had 3,000 health. He took 20 damage. It would take. Um... And this is with the standard rifle. I'm going to give it one more shot. I want to do the check. Give him another shot. 20 damage. Versus 28 damage that the crab took. But that's not all. We need to definitely do some conversions. And uh, unfortunately, there's a big difference between a rock golem and a crab. As you can see, he didn't really feel the arrow. Alright, so let's see how much health this guy pumps when I pump him full of health. Alright, he doesn't move very much. He's looking like he's moving in increments of about 60. From 79. Oh. Oh, 9. So, 62, 63. Looks like about 62, 63 health. Versus, let's see how much health he can actually build up. All right, so at max health, this guy reaches 5,801 uh, 5, health. Let's try the rock element. All right, and right off the bat, you can see this guy at 05. He builds a little more health, already looking at like 70 health plus um, is there a nice solid number I'm gonna hit alright so 810 to 91 so he went up a solid 80 point, 81 points and if we pump his health full we're obviously gonna find out that this guy right here way outweighs him in combat when it comes to health and now, the only other question is, how much damage does this guy take when attacked? So, we got our crab, and we got our other guy, and let's spawn us. Alright guys, so I have got my... Alright guys, so I've got my buddy Magma here. He's a very tanky uh, Parasair, and probably the thing that most people would want to use in the case that they could tame one. Um, I mean, you can tame a Parasair on Aberration and just be an Aberration Parasair. And this Parasair is just a 150 perfect tame is what he is. Or, no, he might even be a 145 and I kind of colored him. Just because I could. Admin. Admin powers go for the win. Alright, so what we're going to find out here is whether or not we can walk. No, what we're going to find out is... Whether or not the cannon or the catapult does damage to the uh, the crab. Now we know this stuff works on a rock golem, and we already have answers to that. If, at least if you've watched other people's videos, I've never tested myself, but we're going to find all this out. 
So, this is probably the quickest way someone is going to go and try and tame one of these guys, just because who is ever prepared to go tame a crab their first time around? They just like, somebody is out there trying to wing it. And they're hoping they can do it with the best they can, but they know this is about the limit they have got to have. Alright, so first to be clear, the crab is fairly quick. And uh, your parasite, you might want to pump some movement speed on your parasite. Uh, okay, he is distracted. Perfect. Alright, and let's see what kind of torpor damage he's received. None. Apparently, I did not hit his head. Alright, guys. So, I'm going to tell you right now, this is not going to work. A setup like this, I mean, as a mobile platform to get it into position, yes, this could work very, very well. But, on another note, trying to knock this guy out, the crab guy, on the back of a parasite, unless you pump a good amount of movement speed and have a partner, I don't suggest this, because there's going to be a lot of wiggling, a lot of problems. It, I think it would be worse than a rock golem. At least with a rock golem, you have a little more time to outrun him. And, uh, I don't feel this is a good platform for that. So we're going to try the next thing, the next uh, setup I have. It's an idea for a trap. We're going to try that trap and see if it works. All right, guys. So what you see behind me here is what I am going to call my giant spider crab trap. And by no way is this refined at all. This is crammed together really quickly just to see if I can even trap it. I kind of noticed he didn't care about stone. So I'm pretty sure he does not care and cannot break stone. But I feel that this trap is just perfect and pretty easy to build. That anybody could build this. The pillars are three high. Uh, the uh, pillar behind. There's a wood pillar in there just for testing to see if he can break wood. Uh, gates open. If we can run him into here and see if we can slip out the other side without him getting out. He'll, if he can break the wood pillar, he'll eventually either get out or he'll still be stuck. So let's see what happens. All right. So I'm going to spawn one in. Come on. Come on in. Can you come on in? Can you get through the door? Okay, so you cannot get through the door. What happens if we do this? I know you can come get me now, can't you? Alright, so he can definitely damage the wood. Oh, oh my god, he climbed out. Alright, we're going to try this again with a four high system. Uh, that was uh, really something there, but let's see. You want us, you know you do. Uh, we're gonna set the time of that. Alright, follow me, buddy. You know you want to. Come on. Oh, and we're caught. We can't get through, but oh, look, we're in. Can you climb over this? Alright, I think we found the magic number. Oh. Uh, oh no. <laughs> well, how to kill one, huh? How to kill one. Well, <laughs> that's the second time this has failed, but all right. All right, guys, we are back with another crab. This one I made level 50. Hopefully his health is better, and it is better, but it is not much better. So let's see if we can knock this guy out with a cannon. I have a bad feeling that this guy is not knockoutable by a cannon. I feel if you use a cannon, you are just going to murder him. You are going to utterly murder him, and that's all there is to it. So, once again, he is trapped. Come on, Lee. Get over here. No! Back! Get back here! I didn't set this up for you just to run away. Come on. Into the cage. Into the cage. You know you want it. Oh, come on. Come on. You know you want it. That's, there we go. Now we're going to shut the cage on you. 
hopefully your butt can't get out. It don't even have to be a perfect cage and I can trap your butt. So now what are you gonna do? You can't get out. And guess where I am, buddy. Wow, that's not bad on the Torpor. About 450? Let's, let's hit him with a few more. See if we can knock him out. Now, we already found the cannon is very hard to aim and does a lot of damage. All right, guys. So, we managed to actually get one in here. And uh, you're going to need a behemoth door to get them through. You cannot cheap out and go with the other door. You've got to use the behemoth door. And then these pillars are definitely... Four high seems to be enough to stop them. If you're afraid, go five high. Maybe put a roof on there if you're really afraid. Um, I think four high is enough. So, we're going to try and knock it out now, but... Uh, I have been having problems with the guy constantly turning around. He doesn't want to look at me. So at this point, we are going to try a different method to get him to keep looking at us. And so what I'm going to do is use a bait dino. And what do I mean by bait dino? Well, this guy right here, he's not the strongest, but he's got 5,000 health. Now, your regular, your average turtle will have a saddle on him and everything else. This is a 150 uh, force tame. It really doesn't matter if he dies. You obviously probably want to save your turtle, but... Oh, so you'll have a good saddle on him, and uh, you'll pull him out before something bad happens. But I don't have that luxury, because I'm trying to do this, and I can't seem to get it to work, so we're going to do it this way. Um, So make sure you get the turtle in a proper location. Uh, you want to be able to hit that head, so we're going to do that. Let's see if that did anything. Alright, so we got a direct hit. Let's see if we can keep scoring those hits now. You can see a little stun effect too. When you hit him in the head, he turns around and goes the other way. Now unfortunately, we probably should have spammed these a little better. So a bait dino looks like he'll help you get it originally. But if you're not good at aiming... Oh, we knocked it out. Oh, and I killed it. I killed it. But we knocked it out. We managed to knock it out. All right. So be careful because you can easily kill your tame with the catapult. The catapult does a good amount of damage to this guy. So as a siege weapon, the siege weapon is freaking awesome against these guys. Uh, we did torpor him out because he did pass out before I killed him. Uh, as you can see, he has an inventory. And normally if you kill something, it does not have an inventory afterwards. Uh, so, you can see, we did kill him. And we also knocked him out. Now, there are a few other tests I'd like to run. They say rocket launchers. A scorpion. Crab. Did that cause torpor? Yes, it... No, it did not. No torpor at all. If any, it just basically about killed him. So, we pretty much have a definite answer on using rocket launchers. That is a no-go. But what about a few other things like gas grenades and tripwires? No effect on the crab. Uh, he's unable to trip it. Can I trip it? No effect. All right, guys, so we have got this guy in here. It took a little bit of time. Apparently got two of them stuck in the door. And we've got the cannon aim. Let's see if the cannon will do anything when it hits the head. It looked like that one actually hit the head. No, it did not. Or it hit the head and it just failed to do its job. So let's finish this guy off.
So that one's dead. Our turtle is in bad shape. Let's uh, give him a little health boost. Cheat. Infinite stats. Did I spell infinite wrong? Alright guys, so we have another one in here now, and let's try this one more time with the cannon. It looks like this will be a direct shot. Let's get a cannonball out. Let's load the cannon. Alright, how much? No. Now see, it's very hard to aim the cannon. Alright guys, so we got this crab in here, and unfortunately, it is very hard to aim the cannon. Uh, I'm having a lot of trouble. We're trying to get the... I'm trying to get the head to where I can actually get it. It seems like the cannon is not the way to go for this guy. I mean, it was easy maybe with a rock golem, but this guy is a lot worse. So, we're trying to do the best we can. Are we taking damage up here? Okay, no, we're not. Alright, and his health is unfortunately too low for me to even shoot with the cannon too quick to die to the cannon and the catapult seems to do the job better I'm sure one good solid hit in this cannon would knock this guy out but we have got to make that hit count then load the cannonball yeah and instantly I mean that's the problem with it unfortunately the cannon does so much torpor and there's just no way to hold the guy still and get a proper aim on this guy. Um, we might have better luck if we set a cannon on the ground. Let's try that. Alright, guys. We have got another crab here. And it might escape, actually. Okay, did he find his... Okay, he found what he wanted. He wants to kill the thing. Be careful, they can grab the turtle. So this may not work if you stand too close to your turtle. So I don't suggest standing close to your turtle. We're going to aim up just one. I want to give him a blast to the past. Oh my god, one cannonball did do it. Oh my god, but it almost killed him. Look at that. Yeah. Woo, torpored out. And now, can he be held down by narcotics? Uh, let's see if we can use regular narco berries. And they do raise his torpor. That's good. Now, supposedly, these guys eat turtle eggs. That's how you tame them. You feed them turtle eggs, and they will tame up. So... A few things to note on this, 
Uh, cannon, very deadly. Got to get a good one, at least something that uh, has over 1,800 health so he can survive, although it looks like he dropped more than 1,800 health. Um, so to keep him from torporing out, or not torporing out, uh, to keep him from dying, make sure you pick one over level 50. Uh, pick something with a good amount of health. One cannonball shot should knock his butt out. I can't even tell you how much it did, but it did a lot. Um, <laughs> yeah, so one cannonball on level 50. We might try a higher level one here soon, but we're going to go ahead and just tame this guy up. So we should try meat first. They say meat will tame them. So we're going to try regular meat, and if meat works, then obviously the prime and the mutton all work. So according to my taming calculator, he will not eat prime or prime fish meat. He will eat fish meat, he'll eat regular meat, and then he'll eat rotted meat, which is kind of odd. That he will eat rotted meat before he'll eat regular meat. So if I gave him a piece of spoiled meat, which I'm sure I have some. Uh, of course not. But this meat will spoil here in just a minute, so we'll just keep hold of that. Now, remember, he's not hungry at all at the moment. Let's let this meat spoil. 16 seconds. Alright, so we got a piece of spoiled meat. This one's going to spoil as well. We're going to stuff both of these in there real quick. That and that. And when he eats, what will he eat? Hmm. Alright, so he ate the spoiled meat. First thing he went for was the spoiled meat, and it really helped his taming effect. It's 3.4. Now let's see how much spoiled meat actually does to his food. I bet that's the 51 in his case. I bet it fills his food to 50. Yep, 50 food. And you get about 6.8 taming effectiveness from it. And that's not a three, four times over. So really, it's, it's going to do what the meat was doing originally. It's about three times more effective than the meat. And it's kind of like his prime, which is actually really easy to get hold of. So you can do a lot of taming with just spoiled meat. Now, it says turtle kibble is, or carbony kibble, is the kibble form. All right, guys, we have got some kibble. And I've removed everything from his inventory. We're waiting for it to go down now. Should be down momentarily as he drains very quickly. Now, we are going to go ahead and put some kibble in there. More than likely, it's going to be like normal 80 points of kibble or 80 points of food. So, we're going to throw that in there. And so far, he's at. Oh, he's still got some taming effectiveness. We need to knock that out. No, you can't have that until you, you drop your taming effectiveness. Okay. No taming effectiveness. There we go. 0, 0.0. Let's see how long it takes him to eat. I'll bring you back. That way you don't have to wait. All right, guys. So he is out right now. You can tell. And you can tell he's a bit of a heavy sleeper, actually. Uh, we put those 10 narco berries on him earlier, and he's still knocked out. It's been a good little bit of a wait. I uh, can't say exactly how long it's been, but I'll check back later in the video camera, and I'll know for at least. But uh, it's it's been a while, and here it is. He's coming up on the 80 mark. Does he eat the kibble? Okay, there it goes. He ate the kibble. It looked like it did just about what it was supposed to. And 13.6. Again, this is on times four, but that's obviously his kibble, as it did so much more than everything else. Uh, now, I don't know. Maybe you can harvest plant species Z, and maybe it, it spreads around a little more. Let's try and give him a plant species Z seed. All right. So if I take this out and put this in, can he tame on that? Well, apparently he can. Ooh, how much does this do? It's plant. Oh no, never mind. Oh my God, a 150 down, 6,000 damage, and let's see. Let's just put some food in there to see if this cannonball did anything, other than knocking him out. One shot for a 150. I'd say just build a cage, set it up, and set a turtle, and this won't take too long at all. So we're gonna stick a little bit of meat in him. What is your taming effectiveness? Let's. All right, up in the top right corner of the window here. Let's see when he eats. And he's already down to 64.9. I feel like that cannonball does do a double hit. It really feels like that cannonball is doing a double hit. Because had I done this with one that was a 150, 
I mean, I would have gotten more levels. You're supposed to get, I mean, taming effectiveness, obviously. And one piece of meat cannot be that. All right, guys. So, now I decided to force tame this guy. I felt like he deserves an instant kill death later instead of a kill right now. We are going to go ahead and play around with it a little bit. Now, the right click on this guy is kind of a double attack weapon. You've got your normal left attack, and what's cool is you can fight and move at the same time. So you can back up and engage, and the right one too. And I think, yep, the grab. So, so far, everything. Now, I don't know if this is a fighting move. We're going to go try it out. Let's go try it out on this track. Okay, so that is just a dance move, essentially. Or... Okay, we cannot pick up a trike. So we can... It seems like I can get a double hit in with two uh, swinging right and left. So left trigger does the left one. Right does that one. Now can I grab... Oh, you can grab two things. Right click and left click both do the same attack. Now if I swing them together... If you swing them together, you get a 125 damage. Alright. And... Obviously the crab can jump, which is nice. And it doesn't seem like he takes much fall damage if he does. Let's get, let's get rolling here. Uh, this is normal speed. This is sprint. And I think when you... If you're sprinting, he lunges forward a little more. Well. Okay, he always lunges forward. That's what it is. He always lunges forward. Oh, yes. And then we can do this. So we can transport what we want. Now, I did notice earlier with the Dillo, when I picked up the Dillo, the Dillo attacked. But now, here's the thing, we can carry stuff. Can we throw anything? You can't get away from me. We right click it. So, if we right click, we just beat everything. Now, if we hit C... Okay, C just threw that guy. C just threw that guy. And it looks like he just went that direction. Oh, yeah, you better run. I'm about to use you as a toy. Alright. So, left clicking with him in your hand will just cause him to get hurt. C. Holding C will let you aim. And then you can throw him like that. Awesome. If you just tap C, he'll throw him straight up in the air, it looks like, or like right in front of you. If you right click or if you hold right click or left click, you won't actually be able to do anything. Like if I just right click, he drops or if you tap it, he does that. If I hold left click, it just drops the Lystra. And we're not gonna be mean to the Lystra. We're gonna let the Lystra go. But the Parasaur. Goodbye, Mr. Parasaur. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now controlling that throw might be a little hard. But that's still cool. And obviously the jump, the sprint, and we can see everything. This is a high level one, so the health is going to stat up much better. You can see you're getting a lot better boost. But that's obvious with any dinosaur. With the higher the level, the higher the health you get in your boost. As well as a better melee. Uh, overall, this guy is not very strong. He does not hit nearly as hard like the rock golem. So he is not a replacement for the rock golem like uh, the video is uh, suggesting. Uh, not at all. But... He does have his own little benefits here and there. He does hit decent, even at high level, but, I mean, you'd want to heavily level. Really, he is a bullet soaker is what he is, but only bullets, not arrows. Arrows will wipe his butt out. Uh, dinos are going to wipe him out. So if you need, if you are not on Aberration, and you have the choice between a Rock Golem to soak damage or this guy to soak damage, unless you know you're just going to be shot by bullets, I would not use the crab. All right, guys, this is something cool as well. Uh, and it doesn't hardly use stamina. Oh, 
Alright, guys, so I figured something else out real quick. I wanted to share it with you. If you hold space bar, you can go flying like this. You can just jump as far as you want. It hardly drains stamina, especially on this particular one. But just hold it. And then you can look around if you want. It doesn't mess with anything. And then you jump and you lunge in whatever direction, semi, where you're trying to go. Now, if I wanted to look that way, I can't do anymore. But I was able to slightly turn in the air at first. Yep, you can see I jump as far as I really want to. So we can jump all the way back home. This is really cool. So tap space bar to jump little bits. Uh, well, let, let's just see. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. So if you don't crank it back, you're not going to go very far. But if you do crank it back, you get to do that. And then you're way up in the air. All right, guys. I hope you learned something from this video. I hope this really helped. I had some enjoyment out of this. I learned a lot here. Uh, myself, I, this was all a learning experience for me, so we both kind of learned together, which is really exciting not to just do a video that just, oh, well, we all know what happens here. Hopefully this one taught you all something, and hopefully this can really help you when you're next time taming one of these guys. You're wondering why maybe that 150 tame didn't turn out like it should have, and you're getting yelled at, and somebody's saying, you hit him again, I know you hit him, and you're like, you run my 150 uh, spider crab tame. Well, now you at least have an answer. You didn't run the 150 Spider Crab Tame. If you used the cannon, it was the cannon's fault. Um, but if it wasn't that cannon's fault and you were using a catapult or something like that, maybe it was your fault. So on your that, that's on you if you're using a catapult. But all right, guys, nothing else really uh, tranks them out, I don't believe. I will try a quick trank arrow. I think I have some trank arrows on me. Do I have trank arrows? Yes, I have trank arrows. Oh, come on, come on, come on. No torpor damage from trank arrows. Yep. So nothing is going to trank these guys out. These guys might be good for if you're on S+. Plus, uh, fighting with S+, plus, send these guys in to soak the uh, trank turrets. Might be a good idea. But just remember, when he's shot with an arrow, he takes full damage. So he actually gets injured more than when he would get injured with just bullets. So just remember that. But all right, guys. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And before I keep talking, you guys have a great day. And I'll catch you next time.